morning. Today we're going to look at rates and ratios. A ratio compares two quantities. It can be a part to part or it can be part to whole. Okay, it can be written three different ways. So if I'm comparing three stars and two smi um, smiley faces, that could be a three to two comparison with a colon. It could be a three two two comparison. When you see the colon, you say the word two. So I'm just going to make a little note here that that means two. And it could be written as three to two. It looks like a fraction, but again, you would say this two. It's the word two. So it's a three to two comparison, three stars to two smiley faces three stars to two smiley faces, three stars to two smiley faces, and everybody would know that we were comparing three stars to two smiley faces. A rate, I'm going to write it underneath, it compares two quantities with different units. Compares two quantities with different units. A unit rate, two quantities with different units, with a one in the denominator. Okay, so I'm going to go back up here. So this would be comparing um, 60 miles to two hours, different units. This one would be comparing 30 miles to one hour. So we could write that as 30 miles over one hour. We could write this one as 60 miles in two hours. Okay. So as we move on, let's go ahead and put these in action. We've got 45 males and 60 females on a subway car. The subway car is traveling two and a half miles in five minutes. The ratio of males to females, we're going to write it three different ways. It's 45 to 60, it is 45 to 60, it is 45 to 60. This is perhaps the easiest one to see we can reduce. If I divide both the numerator and the denominator by 15, I would get a 3 to 4 ratio. So this could also reduce 3 to 4. 3 to four. Okay, the speed of the subway car. Okay, it's two and a half miles in five minutes. We're looking for a rate. Speed is another way to say rate, so I want to go down to one minute. Dividing by five and then two and a half dividing by five. Let's do a little bit of margin math. 2.5 divided by five, move my decimal up. Five times five is 25. So that would be 0.5 or 5 tenths of a mile in one minute. It is perfectly legal to write it this way. This is simply called a compound fraction. Okay, it's got a decimal part and it's in the fraction. Okay, so we're going to 
quickly look at the ratio. We're going to make a ratio table of the cost of the ratio table cost of AstroTurf are shown. Find the unit rate, left that word out, in dollars per square foot. So as I look at this, I see that it's, I want dollars per square foot, so I want dollars per square foot, and the first thing I'm going to do is label my work, and I see that it's $100 to 25 square feet, $400 to 100 square feet, so it's not going to matter which one I start with. I'm going to get to the same one regardless. Dollars per square foot. Okay, well, that's not a unit rate. We were asked for a unit rate. This would be per one. So I am going to divide by 25, both top and bottom. So my unit rate is $4 per square foot. Now, just as a quick aside, something that's important to be aware of, when I'm looking at this, if I multiplied the bottom by 4, 100 times 4 is 400, I have to multiply the top by 4 also. You see, I did that multiple times, or this was done multiple times. 100 times 4, 400 times 4, multiplying by 4 again, 1,600 times 4 is 6,400. 400 times 4 is 1,600. Okay, so we could multiply it by 4. I could have chosen any number I wanted to. I have to simply be consistent top and bottom. You can see that I added 300 this time and I added 75 this time. Addition does not work when we're talking about rates. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of our class data. We have got 13 girls and 10 boys. That would tell us that we have got 23 total students. And I want a ratio of boys to girls. That would be 10 to 13. First question answered. Okay, when it's written this way, I'd like my answer to continue to stay in that format. If I want boys to total, well, I see that I've got 10 boys and 23 total. If I wanted to do the total to girls, and again, this was written in a fraction format, so this one needs to have the colon, 23 total to 13 girls. Now, I could actually write, this is a total of from literally two data points. I'm comparing girls to boys. I found a total. I could write it with the word two, with a two as a fraction bar and two as a colon. I can also flip all of these around. So I could also write it as girls to boys. And that would be 13 to 10. I could flip this one. I could make it total to boys. So that would be 23 total to 10 boys. Or I could say that it was girls to total using a colon. And that would be 13 to 23. So from two pieces of information in our class, We've got 13 girls and 10 boys present this day. I can write a total of six different ratios. This ratio, any one of these ratios, could have been written three, uh, three different ways. So it could have been written as 10 to 13, 10 to 13, or 10 to 13. But we can compare boys to girls girls to boys, boys to total, total to boys, total to girls, girls to total, and any of them could be written with the word to, a colon, or a fraction bar. Thank you.